What's going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we are back once again and we're going to be talking about cases today. Um, cases have actually been a hot topic of discussion uh, really over the past couple months. It seems like ever since, uh, you know, a couple months ago, they decided to make the changes to cases where, you know, kind of farming cases, AFK, uh, people in servers and everything. Uh, since they made that change, uh, people started to say, hey, uh, the supply of cases is probably going to be a lot lower. Cases might become even a better investment than they've already been over the past really history of Counter-Strike uh, and people have just always been talking about them because a ton of people, especially in the CS investing scene, have made a ton of money off cases. Again, if you look at case prices right now, most cases are $0.80, cents, $1, $2, $3, $4, $5 dollars and up and people who've been around for a long time a lot of people got a ton of these cases for three cents, four cents, five cents. A lot of your huge, huge, huge success stories throughout the history of CS investing have been from cases. They've probably made more people, uh, you know, kind of CS rich than maybe any other item class. Uh, and heading into CS2, they still uh, appear to be a very, very interesting and potentially very lucrative investment. And uh, we're going to be talking about some news and some potential ideas involving cases in this video today. But uh, first, before we get into that, allow me to plug my cash trading business. This is a way for you guys to cash out on your CSGO items, skins, stickers, knives, whatever, uh, and turn them into cold hard cash, crypto, Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, whatever is going to be the best method for you. Obviously, um, you know, trying to find out, find out a good, quick way, safe way to cash out on your items can sometimes be very, very daunting. It can be scary. It can be stressful. Um, but if you hit me up, we can definitely uh, work out a, a good deal and it'll be safe, quick, all of that good stuff. Uh, hit me up over on Twitter. That's definitely the best way in the DMs. My Twitter's linked in the description below. Uh, I know there's a ton of people right now who are unhappy with the CS market and are looking to cash out on a ton of their items or maybe even their entire inventories. If you're looking to do that, hit me up. We can work out a deal. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, like I said, a ton of people have been talking about cases and case prices have definitely been doing some interesting stuff. Um, you know, here we have like the revolver case. If we look back to, uh, if we look back on this week, uh, September 27th before, uh, you know, CS2 decided to drop back here on like the 24th, 25th, you know, the revolver case was around 218, uh, $2. And now it's kind of risen up to 232 to like 210. It's kind of in that window, but prices are moving up and down so much. Obviously case prices always go up and down just kind of depending on the time of day and stuff. A lot of those graphs are going to look exactly the same. Um, but uh, while the market has been crashing or, or, you know, not maybe not crashing, but the market's in a little bit of a downturn. Um, you know, you can see here uh, before the CS2 official release. Now the market has definitely gone down. If we look at the all items graph, um, you know, we'll see some similar stuff where the, the uh, market has definitely gone down over the past couple of days. Uh, cases haven't been hit as effectively or, or as much, you know, this, this graph for like the revolver case, for example, does not look like the whole market graph. Um, we have something like the Prisma case, which again, Again, has actually seen a little bit of a jump up uh, in the upward direction since the official release of CS2. We have something like the Prisma case, which again has a very, very similar looking graph. Cases have been doing pretty well. Um, I, I'm just kind of showing some of the my favorite cases and some of the cases that I would maybe even recommend. But we'll, we'll dive into why that is more in a little bit. Um, but same thing here. Riptide case has actually been going pretty crazy. Riptide case I bought, um, I think like $100 worth of Riptide cases a couple days ago. Not a huge position or anything like that, but I've definitely been looking to add to some of my case positions. Uh, Riptide case has been doing very, very well. Uh, and then we have the Danger Zone case here. Again, another very, very good looking graph. Those would just be good looking graphs in general, let alone the fact that we're in, like I said, a little bit of that market downturn. Now, why are cases doing this? Uh, it's a couple different reasons. One, when the whole market is going down and things are crashing and things are looking really horrible and awful and people don't know what to do, uh, people are going to want to put their money into items that they actually believe in and that are actually doing well. So if everything's going down and cases are holding strong, that's going to kind of have this cyclical effect of, hey, cases are doing good, so I'm going to put my money into somewhere that's actually doing good, and that's going to keep the prices of cases kind of doing well until we get some reason for some other items to do well. Also, historically, people know that cases are a very, very good investment, that they're a very safe investment, you know? Cases are, an, are a uh, consumable item that the quantities are always going to be going down on. The cases that aren't in the uh, kind of active duty drop pool, they're going to continue to be more and more scarce. Uh, all time, like I said, cases have been one of the best performing asset classes. Um, so in this time of kind of panic and uncertainty and question and all these things, cases seem to be a really, really good safe haven. But also with the release of CS2, we've seen some big content creators streaming a ton of CS2, you know, guys like XQC and stuff like that. And what are they doing? 
they're opening up a ton of cases, you know, more cases than they maybe would have been otherwise. Uh, and of course, that is one decreasing those quantities and supplies of those cases. But they're also, uh, you know, broadcasting that to tens of thousands of people who are then also going to open up more cases. So if those people are buying the cases, they're opening them, buying them is shooting the price up, opening them and, and uh, lowering the overall supply that even exists, that shooting prices up. There's just so many recent reasons for cases to be exploding in prices right now. But another very, very interesting thing that we are seeing around right now, this is on uh, CSGO market forum you know i saw this post that said the netherlands and belgium are banned in cs2 from receiving cases now i don't know if this is going to get changed or if this is going to get updated or if they're going to find some workaround or whatever but since they've added the new weekly care package system it seems that some countries are not allowed to get case drops anymore now again you can argue hey the netherlands belgium how big is that to the overall cs2 player base and that's very fair you know probably not all that big probably wouldn't have that big of a, an impact on the kind of case marketplace but i don't know if that's the extent or the entirety of you know what countries can and can't receive uh cases you know who knows how laws are going to change or how a, a lot of these laws are affected and stuff in the first place but also, one of my questions, and what I've seen some other places as well, is are you even guaranteed to get a case in this new weekly care package? Because here's another person that said, looks like cases are not guaranteed in the new uh, CS2 weekly drops. Cases go burr again. And uh, this guy, uh, I don't know where he's from. Okay, this guy's from uh, the Netherlands too, I guess. So, you know, that is uh, another person kind of showing that off where they're still having this system of not being able to get these items in certain countries. So like I said, is that, is it just these affected countries? So I, I, I guess maybe other countries are guaranteed to get cases in their thing. I'm not sure. I still don't know if we know the extent of entirely how this weekly care package system works. Is it possible to get two cases? Is it possible to only get one case? I don't know. Um, but even if some people are not uh, possible to get their case drops weekly, that could still have some impact uh, on the case prices. Uh, and again, I'm not arguing that that's a huge deal or that's going to, you know, that is the reason why cases are going to, to shoot up to the moon or whatever. But I'm saying that cases already have a ton of good things going for them. They already have a ton of reason to do really well. They've historically done really, really well. And these changes are only a good thing, uh, you know, for overall case prices and people that already have cases, obviously people who want to open up cases or people, you know, who wish cases weren't so scarce or anything like that. It's not going to be that great of a thing, but, uh, I have, like I said, been, uh, starting some case, uh, kind of positions over the past week or so. I'm going to continue to add to some of these case positions. Uh, some of my favorite cases, you know, I have this spreadsheet where I was looking at prices. This is back in August. So, you know, this, this information is a little bit outdated. This is about a month old, but from August 15th, some of the cases that have done the best in like the past six months had been Prisma 2, Fracture, Danger Zone, Revolver, Wildfire, Chroma, Shattered Web. You know, these cases had gone up almost 3x in the last six months. So those were some of the ones that I was looking at. But I like zooming out even further and trying to get uh, even more kind of uh, data that shows uh, over a more extended period of time. Because I think, you know, the longer uh, something has been able to have sustained growth and, and perform well, I think that can only be a good thing. So over the past year, some of the cases that have done the best are Chroma 2, Revolver, Prisma 2, Danger Zone, Prisma, Fracture, Horizon. Uh, and then over the past 18 months, some of the ones I've been looking at as well are Chroma 2, Prisma 2, Danger Zone, Revolver, Fracture, Prisma, Chroma 3. Um, of course, any of the uh, cases that are kind of discontinued, stuff like uh, Broken, not Broken Fang, but stuff like uh, Riptide and Shattered Web and stuff like that, I think is all very, very good. Um, these are cases that I would definitely be looking at. But when you look at the overall gains of just cases in general over the past year, past 18 months, uh, you'll be hard pressed to find many cases that have not been great investments. It seems like overall cases are maybe the best asset class in all of CS. They are probably the safest place to park your money, especially if you're looking for um, very, very significant returns. Obviously, the only thing about cases is they're relatively cheap. So to put a ton of money into cases, you have to own a ton of cases. It can take time to move them. You need to have a ton of storage units. It's kind of tedious. Um, but the harder it is, the more tedious it is. Obviously, that's going to weed out a lot of the uh, people, which is in turn going to make them even better investments and, and even um, you know more worth it for the people who do choose to put that time in. So I don't know. Cases have always been great. Cases are going to continue to be great. Cases are still great right now. Obviously, if we do end up getting a new operation or, uh, you know, new case, new content, whatever in CS2, which we are going to get uh, before, you know, sooner rather than later, uh, we could definitely see cases take a little bit of a hit. But how much are cases going to go up before then? You know, just because cases are going to take a hit at some point in the future doesn't mean you should wait because there could be so many gains until then that even if it crashes down, you're still missing out on some gains. And I've covered in videos before that those uh, hits 
you know, from something like an operation or whatever, those seem to be pretty short lived, you know, oftentimes they only last like a month or two or anything like that. And then prices rebound pretty quickly and then kind of just continue to go up. So if you're investing for the medium or even long term, uh, this doesn't really seem to be too big of an issue, but cases definitely seem to be really, really great right now. Uh, I think the one fair question to ask though is, um, you know, should you maybe be buying the dip on stuff that is crashing? Yes, cases are doing well right now. Cases are going up, but that's kind of seems uh, in the contrary to, you know, buying low and selling high. Uh, obviously, previously, a bunch of people were buying skins and buying Paris and all this stuff. Now that stuff's crashing. Now cases are doing well. If you just uh, start ignoring all the stuff that's crashing to start buying cases, you just kind of seem like you're buying into this hype over and over and over again. Um, so I think there's definitely some merit right now in maybe even avoiding cases and buying some of the stuff that's dipping. And then when cases eventually dip, buying into that and selling some of the other stuff. Um, but I also just think in the mega long term or, you know, set it and forget it terms that cases cases aren't a bad idea either. So uh, even though cases are kind of the hype thing right now, and you're kind of buying into the hype, maybe FOMOing a little bit, I still think in the long term, it won't be a bad decision if that makes sense. But that's pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully I catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.